The sessions will introduce the, the one of the idea, uh, the concept, the how to creating the, um, the MEP room, the modeling, uh, a little bit uh, effective way. So, let um, uh, you think after show these demonstrations. Uh, so basically, we need to have the component uh, library the for the each to f uh, figure out and the configure it, the, those. So I just creating the, some examples of the, um, the library. So some machines or some the, the pipes, etc. So those are can be you know the dead body or can be a parametric models. So let's say dead body. It means uh, it can be uh, really fix the library that shape will not uh, change and um, the, um, the component that can be changed uh, in this case for example the pipe length uh, can be changed so this should be a parametric model uh, that length can be changed uh, in this case for example the other ones might be uh, the dead body but also uh, to use this in the skeleton level, uh, we need to the create even dead body need to create how we configure in the skeleton level. So, for example, uh, I creating here the power copy the, um, to represent of the, this uh, this object, and then uh, this power copy register here in the power copy with the name. So this power copy can be used in the, the project uh, that used the, um, here the reuse of, uh, resource table. So you can add you can add uh, the resource name and the, the resource here uh, that called it the power copy and the you can uh, set this from here, let's see. Uh, so from here, that uh, this this power copy. So then, uh, you can use uh, this local name in the script. Okay. So uh, for now, for making easy to to make. I didn't uh, create the like this way. Instead of that, I just creating them in the just one level, creating the power copies here. So I will just show you um, 
So each power copy just uh, represent of the uh, that, that object. You will see the name here. Okay. So so this is just one of the example how you are going to creating in the skeleton level. Uh, all uh, some configurations how it works rotate or length. Maybe the pixel component is don't have the you know length configurations, but or uh, maybe the rotations. So you have the rotation in this case, and uh, the you will always have the base location. So later on, uh, the base location will be uh, instant helping the instantiate the component in the product level. So named it here and uh, some other another parameter to configure if this is came from the chapter or uh, we need to creating the as an adaptive component so in that case uh, we're going to use the engineering template instead of a chapter so the here and the this is this is uh, the end case of the adaptive case so uh we have uh, angle and uh ah, sorry not this one this is a fixed case the adaptive case this one five five uh so i will just hide and show where it is okay here so five and the pipe have the base locations with the adaptive true, which means you will going to use engineering template later. So this length parameters came from here. So you, whenever you change in skeleton, this will adapt, and the the component final component will be having a same place with the location. Okay, so um, so this what uh. Uh, what is the te simple template it is so I will show you the briefly how it works so here so you have a AC system the location of the equipment then you selected equipment uh, so first time you have uh, like that and um, this equipment for example the I want uh, instantiate this equipment so this is name so this for now just I uh, use the simply uh, the name of the component so when you uh, creating the name of the component the from here you will create the um, this component equipment here the, the after then uh, each in this case, this equipment have a lot of root, the, about the five things uh, output, right? So just I select one of the AC system for creating the, the next uh, component. So we have the name here and the some automation. So this automation is exactly the same as this automation. So what uh, when you put the name, it will be instantiated here. So uh, let's create the this use this element so here I copy and I put it here then this will instant it here then uh, I want to rotate this in this case so I rotate 90 degree okay I think this is fine then this case you have a uh, root one one root instead uh unlike the the uh, equipment have a lot of root but uh, this case one only one root root or port whatever so uh, i want to connect here the another component so uh, i want to connect the uh, this five street five so I put it here, the name, and this uh, will create the pipe here. So you can control the pipe, the length, under here. Let's say 500, so 300, making shorter. 
and then now I will create here uh, T so here let's try this one so copy the name and uh, here root one and uh, put it the name here and this automation will create it like this then now uh, maybe I want to create another street so I will just copy this name because I already know and uh, the root in this case we have a uh, two different root here then the I will select the first root and uh, I put it here the name uh, pipe name of course you know you can uh, put it here pipe name then that means you will create another root here so we something like this so all are connected and parametry so this case after I will just add mo one more uh, one more elbow here so I know the, the name of elbow this one I will just use the use the this one here so uh, it should be here okay okay now uh, that's fine of course since this is the you know parametric model so uh, when you change the uh, some parameters for example in this case um, I will change uh, another angle instead of 90 of course this will everything will follow right. then uh, here what I did here and uh, maybe this doll geometry I want to put the same place here so uh, I can put here under here uh, in this time instead of uh, creating the name but uh, I will just copy and uh, edit the asset system, the location only. And when you update, then you will have that too. So if you want to connect, maybe you need to rotate this and you need to remove this. And you need to stretch more, stretch the, the length. So this kind of a concept. So you will easily uh, creating the, the skeleton level. But this is just uh, the one of the example. You can still use the um, some design table, like uh, uh, connection between uh, how the connection chart. If you can use the connection chart with the, the angles or whatever. Uh, also, uh, maybe you can uh, use the UDF instead of uh, the power copy. But there's uh, several things you need to consider. But anyway, there's uh, several way I can consider the how to configure in the the skeleton level. Okay. So the thing is, uh, once you define the automations and the skeleton level, how it works, then uh, component creating the component. I have a script here. So all the base location will found the name and uh, it will be instanted there so in this case the, with the, this asset system plus uh, instanted this component from the chapter so when you look at the chapter the, there's a uh, you have the list of chapters and uh, this chapter will be lead and the automations okay so here I have the keyword to founding out the which um, component it is. So I just use uh, name as an item name and uh, put it here as the same name for now. But maybe you have uh, many different, uh, you know, the attribute you wanna mix all together. 
So let's come back uh, to the project. So let's see the result. Then I select the founding out the location under the test. So click OK. OK, now the components are uh, instantiated here so with the uh, detail models. But in my case, it's not so much detail though, so you can put it as more details. So, so uh, about the modifications. Of course, this is the parametric, and each component are creating the engineer connections between the skeleton and the component. Skeleton component. Right? So each component are don't have any relations between. So all the the modification should be done in the skeleton. So for example, now I want to change the uh, distance here more. It's 500. So this will be instant more here. So skeleton is changed and uh, maybe let's change the the angle as well so angle should be here like 45 degree right and maybe also uh, you want to change the component this one uh, but I will just uh, show this first it's a different process so uh, update the comp product level so this will simply adapt uh, what your skeleton you was working right so when you change the distance this will adapt in everything because it's linked so now um, let's change the component replace the component here instead of replace here replace means uh, instead of replace the component uh, since it's a skeleton approach, uh, I want uh, I want to replace this part. So this is the level under here, right? So uh, instead of I will create another uh, part instead of uh, this component. So let's select one of them. So this one. So I was uh, just, uh, if this is not needed. So I'll just put this copy name of the component. And the return here. So when you type here. So this will be uh, instantiated. Then um, the next connections in the from here. So you only want to delete the T, but instead of that, uh, this root one inside you uh, wanna keep it. So uh, you wanna copy this. I mean, to move this uh, this one. So in and also change the input. So when you look at the um, input, this one. The instead of this, you may wanna use this one. Then also. Uh, you want to uh, change the location under here so this will continuously works and then you can uh, delete this one that unnecessary okay then the thing is uh, for the uh, I will change it also the uh, angle here 90 that's opposite uh, 180 okay oh sorry should be minus 90 okay so uh, so skeleton is the fixed but the the part of the component level the simplest way is that uh, I have a script to delete all the component 
enter the creating it will be uh, the simplest way but uh, if you have uh, many component changed uh, that will be a uh, better but just one component uh, that you need to replace it maybe needed to consider some other script or uh, to change the replace the, this component but um, the thing is the so in this component let's see the, the product level so this component is here is no longer existing so you can delete of course the when you delete you have co engineer connection will be deleted too but here uh, this one let's try to the replace so replace this uh, by existing okay and uh, I select the, the this one so now the, of course the engineer connections will asking again the because it's replaced so I will select again um, this one to reconnect then uh, when you update oh, so uh, that's error so I think it seems uh, so while replacing the engine connection old disappeared too so maybe I will reconnect um, this one is the this one base and uh, that's the system here belt and then the location here uh, base system yeah this one okay Dunno. yeah so this is the the way just uh, manually working but maybe you know the you might have another script some things change automatically or port update or change the component there's a uh, many things you can consider yeah but for now the, the easiest way is actually just um, you know I have the code here to delete all the component and just uh, recreating the component again so so it will be uh, easier no need to consider the manual work okay like this so th that's it for today uh, let me know if you have uh, any questions um, if you are interested in the, this kind of uh, the process I can uh, introduce more um, the script if there's some things uh, interested part so you know for example the delete is we need to delete the engine connection first before you delete the, um, the instantiate part so eject like that to not to avoid the error when you update uh, thank you for watching.